all right my people welcome back hashtag sunday Igoho. well onto this yoruba patriots will ensure nothing unlawful is done to our son this had been said by professor akintoye all right my people the noisy details well onto this the leader of the umbrella body of Yoruba self-determination groups, Ilano Omodua Professor Banji Akintoye disclosed that the Yoruba Patriots will ensure nothing unlawful or primitive is done to Sunday Igboho while in custody. Recall that Igboho have been in detention since July 19, 2021 when he was arrested by the Interpol at the Kajan Airport in Kotonu with his wife Ropo. But they called the Hapel. The Kotonu ordered the release of the Germany-based wife of the activist saying there were no allegations against her. All right, meanwhile, the Department of State Services, DSS, declare Igboho. All right, so let me take that again. The Department of State Services, DSS, had declared Igboho wanted after its operatives carried out a bloody midnight raid on its residence in the Soka area of Ibadan, or your state capital. The federal government has made move on the different occasions to extradite Igboho to Nigeria based on gun running allegations, which he had later denied. Well, meanwhile, Akintoye told Vanguard that he would not return to Nigeria until Igboho is set free from detention. Speaking through his media media head. Maxwell Adeleye Akintoye said the process of securing the release of the Yoruba activist was ongoing. He said, according to his statement, I quote, I will return to Nigeria immediately Igboho is released from custody. Yoruba nation agitators, both home and in the diaspora, must stand strong. We have resolved Sunday Igboho will not be subjected to inhuman and then dehumanizing treatment of any kind. Myself and other Yoruba patriots are working to provide the assistance necessary to ensure that nobody will be able to do anything unlawful or primitive to him in custody. According to his statement, I quote, My continued stay here does not mean I am afraid of the federal government of Nigeria. I have not committed any offense to warrant fleeing from Nigeria as some people were insinuating. We are fighting for our rights. Yoruba people cannot continue to be slaves. We are going to shock the Nigerian government with our plans. But we are not going to make them public. It's going to be strategic. We are going we are going to deploy what we have to get, what we want. All right, and then Sunday Boho is our son and we will defend him with our last breath. He deserves not to be in custody for fighting for the freedom of Yoruba people. I assure you, we will become victorious as plans are in top gear to get him released. But I will not disclose what will happen next. All right, my people, this had actually been said by Professor Banji Akintoye. Well, my people, the Yoruba writers are the patriots, as you know, made it clear that they will ensure nothing unlawful is done to chief sunday Igboho. well that is what we are seeing so far well i think these had been overflogged and then reason being that you no know, the reason why we are repeating this so that everybody we understand the take 
of the Yoruba leaders. Move on to this one. Well, Chief Sunday Igbo in no time will be vindicated. We are so sure of that. And then to with the level to which he is right now in detention, we thank God that you no know, he's been treated fairly. He is not a criminal. He is a freedom fighter. So why is it that the you no know, the Nigerian government had been after him? Meanwhile, the major terrorists are working freely to the extent they are giving them amnesty. You can imagine giving you no know, killer X-Men amnesty, giving Boko Haram amnesty. So what are we talking about? And you are saying this set of people should not agitate for separation when the country is not being fair to them. How long are we going to continue like this? That has been the question. How long are we going to continue like this? Many things are actually being said onto this matter, and the majority of people have said, Oh, release Chief Sunday Igbo unconditionally. Fine, you don't want him to come to Nigeria, release him and let him go back to Germany, relax, and then have a nice time. Let him continue with his normal way of life. Yes, I could remember that that one was from. The noble laureate Wale Shoinka he said, please release Chief Sunday Igboho, let him go and enjoy himself and let him continue to live his normal life. Hmm, that is another serious one. Well, why is it that you no, know, in a country like Nigeria, the leaders do not want good things to happen to the people? I don't understand. Maybe simply because of peanuts or what they want to eat and exactly what it is. Because I see no reason why, you know, the you know, president would not say, okay, fine, let's agree on addendum. Let's you know dialogue. You know, on a round table talk, let's you know why this are happening. And then meanwhile, when we tried to get you know, to understand what has actually happened, what, why this can never happen. A lot of people actually reacted that, oh, if that is what you are expecting from the federal government, forget it because they are they have their own plans against Nigerians. So and I ask myself then why? So that what will happen? What is all this? Is this the government we voted for? Is it the plans on ground before we voted for them? And that has been the question. That has been the issue. Well, my goodness, may the good Lord continue to protect us all. Majority of people are dying, innocent people dying on a daily basis. We can no longer continue like this. You can imagine the younger brother to Omoyele Shogore just you know, was killed on Saturday by this same killer ex men. So, what are we talking about? So you do want us to remain and then keep you no know, pampering this set of people. No, it shouldn't be like that. All right, my people, this is so serious. What more can we say onto this one? Well, let me have your take, my people, and remember to subscribe for more updates. If you have not subscribed to this channel, do thanks and God bless.